strange time to be chatting to you all. I'm currently self-isolating at home during the coronavirus outbreak. Here in the UK we don't have an official lockdown so to speak but we are being strongly advised by the government to work from home and to limit any travel from outside our homes as possible um, so obviously I'm respecting that and I'm working from home and trying to stay inside as much as possible but obviously this can be really difficult especially for us outdoor hiking climbing lovers so I really want to bring you guys some content that will keep you inspired and motivated for future adventures hopefully when this passes um, however long that may be so I'm sat here today in my favourite cosy little window seat at home and I'm going to be talking about books. So I have chosen eight books written by amazing female outdoor adventure writers that in one way or another have inspired me throughout my own kind of outdoor hiking, climbing journey. Um, so hopefully they will can also inspire you to plan some future adventures, uh, to give one a read, and yeah, just to offer a little bit of peace amongst all of this madness um, at the moment. So before starting to chat about these books, I of course had to make myself a cup of tea. So the first book that I'm going to talk about today is Wild by Cheryl Strayed and this is actually the first book within this kind of genre of books that I read. I read it about three or four years ago and it really inspired me to do much more solo travelling, solo hiking and it basically made me want to go and hike the Pacific Crest Trail one day. So yeah, essentially it's, a, it's kind of an autobiographical memoir about Cheryl who goes and hikes the Pacific Crest Trail, but quite significantly it's not just about her hiking the trail and that adventure, it's a lot about the emotions and events in her life that lead up to that point and also about what she learns from it. It's just an incredibly written memoir by Cheryl of this time in her life and yeah it was just super inspiring to me when I read it. It's also a film, I definitely recommend reading the book first though um, and my absolute favourite quote from the book that I once almost got tattooed on me is how wild it was to let it be and I think those words are just really poignant and just really beautiful so this is the first book on my list. So next up we are moving into the realm of climbing and the book I have chosen is End of the Rope by Jan Redford and the subtitle of this book is Mountains, Marriage and Motherhood which kind of gives you an idea of what it might be about. Um, so essentially this book is another kind of autobiographical memoir by Jan and it follows her life, um, her life and her kind of her journey from being a young feisty climber to becoming a mother and it also accounts some really significant life-changing events like losing her partner in an avalanche in Alaska. As you'll discover with all of these books, the reason I love them so much is because they're not just about adventure and um, climbing or hiking, but they're a lot about how those wonderful outdoor activities that we do um, kind of merge into our lives and what we learn from them in our lives and this book is a lot about that. It actually really inspired, I think when I read this book I was, I hadn't yet learned to lead climb but it really inspired me to kind of get on the sharp end and learn to lead not only in climbing but in other aspects of my life. Um, so yeah, I just want to read a little paragraph from the blurb. It is her laughter-filled memoir of learning to climb and of friendships with women in that masculine world. Most moving, this is the story of her struggle to make her own way in the mountains and in life to lead, not follow. I think that's something that a lot of us can relate to, so I would highly recommend reading this book. 
So the next book I have chosen is one that I actually haven't read yet, but it is on my list for this period of self-isolation, and that is The Living Mountain by Nan Shepherd. So many people have recommended this book to me because I absolutely love the Cairngorms, which is what this book is about. Um, so it's essentially kind of a poetic account of the harsh yet beautiful environment of the Cairngorms and on the back it's descri described as a masterpiece of nature writing and it also says Shepherd spent a lifetime in search of the essential nature of the Cairngorms. Her quest led her to write this classic meditation on the magnificence of mountains and on our imaginative relationship with the wild world around us. I mean, that just makes me want to read it so, so much. There's also a really nice quote that I came across that I'm going to read to you, which I really liked, and that says, To aim for the highest point is not the only way to climb a mountain. That's definitely something that I fully believe in, so I am very excited to read this book. And the next book I've chosen is a little bit of a contrast to the last as it is about a woman who aspires to climb the highest mountain in the world. And this book is The Girl Who Climbed Everest by Bonita Norris. Um, she actually climbs Everest when she's like 22, which is super inspiring. And I really like this book because, first of all, it's a really easy read. So if you're one of those people who kind of finds it hard to concentrate, struggles a little bit with reading, which I've definitely gone through phases where I just can't focus, but this book is super easy to read. It flows really nicely. So something I really liked about it is that, as well as being about the climb itself, which is really an interesting kind of expedition that they go on. Um, but it's also about the process that Bonita takes to get there, because obviously, as you know, you can't just go and climb Everest financially or physically. Um, she only starts climbing when she's 20 and she climbs Everest when she's 22, which is pretty incredible. And there's a quote on the back that I wanted to read. This is a story about failure, about how it can blindside us at any moment but also become our greatest motivation to succeed. This is a story about not giving up and finding the resilience to keep following our hearts even in our darkest hours. This next book is another one that I haven't yet read. It was actually my sister, um, just finished reading it, and put something on her Instagram story, and Harvey was like, can I borrow that book? Um, and now I really also wanna read it. So it is Robin Davidson, Desert Places. I've read Tracks by Robert, Robin Davidson, which is probably her most famous book. It is absolutely brilliant. It is honestly one of my favorite books. And I just watched the film actually, just like a week ago or something. Um, we downloaded it on iTunes and watched it and that was also amazing. So I definitely also recommend the film as well as the book Tracks. But this is her different book. And this is her next book. Um, I've written a few notes on it because obviously I haven't read it yet. This is basically about Robin traveling with nomads in Rajasthan. And it's about a migration through the desert and it's a lot about the politics of India as well. So the reason my sister Anna really liked it is because she's traveled solo to India like four or five times. And she said that she liked the way Robin was really honest about the actual real life gritty, harsh, difficult moments of being a Westerner in India. Like, it's not romanticized at all. It's actually a quote that says just that, that I'm gonna read to you. Any lingering romanticism concerning Indian rural life was destroyed, but a profound respect and affection for her hosts was forged. She could return to comfort and security. For the nomads, it was real life. So yeah, this is definitely one that I'm going to try and read very, very soon and I'm sure that I will enjoy. This next book is for all you skiers out there. I am a very bad snowboarder, but I loved this book anyway. It is Unbound by Steph Jagger, a story of snow and self-discovery. Um, so this book is about, it's another kind of autobiographical memoir, like a lot of these books are. In fact, I think maybe all of them are, in a way. Um, but yeah, so this journey is about Steph Jagger, who is an amazing writer. She quits her job, 
uh, sells her house, sells all her possessions, and decides that she wants to go and ski four million vertical miles in a year. Vertical miles or vertical feet? Vertical feet <laughs> in a year across five different continents, and that is the a world record, I believe. Um, but again, like all of these books, it's not just about that challenge and that adventure, but it's about her self-discovery in doing this. And yeah, it's just really beautifully beautifully written about the, the places that she goes, the people that she meets, and what she learns along the way. So I would definitely recommend reading this book as well. The next book on my list and the penultimate book on my list is a very popular one with rock climbers and if you haven't already heard of it, it is Space Below My Feet by Gwen Moffat. So the story begins in 1945 when Gwen is in her 20s. She deserts her place in the army and essentially goes on to live the life of a climbing dirtbag. So this kind of life takes her from Cornwall to Wales, from Scotland to Chamonix, and eventually she qualifies as the first female mountain guide, and she is highly regarded as one of the best female climbers of her time, and is um, very well known amongst the climbing community. Gwen is hard as nails, and this book kind of accounts so many crazy things she did, um, really unique living situations, ways of earning money, and just her pursuit of a life of climbing and what that entails. It's really inspiring. She does a lot of stuff that I would never do, um, but it's a, an amazing read, one that, that I would definitely recommend. There was also a film, a little kind of short film made by Jen Randall um, that is kind of about Gwen and roughly a little bit about this book. So I'll link that down below because I think you can watch it for free online and it is really, really nice little film that's made. So from a book about rock climbing, we are now moving into the realm of alpine climbing and more kind of high altitude mountaineering. And this is the book that I am currently reading. It is Breaking Trail, A Climbing Life by Arlene Blum. So Arlene was the first woman to lead teams of women on McKinley and Annapurna. I've written that down, I wanted to get that right. Um, and essentially she's regarded as a bit of a trailblazer in the world of mountaineering. She kind of set a place for women in this very highly masculine dominated world. Um, and as someone who is kind of getting into more alpinism and mountaineering, I really wanted to read this book and it has been super inspiring for me. Um, the way it's written is really interesting as well because essentially she's kind of accounting episodes of her childhood and her teenage years using those to describe how this forged her path in the world of mountaineering and in her adventures in the mountains. Um, like all of these books, it includes some really difficult moments in her life and some real harsh conditions, but she is such an inspiring woman and I am really enjoying reading this book so far. I'm just going to read this little paragraph from the blur that says, In her long adventurous career, she has played a leading role in more than 20 expeditions and forged a place for women in the perilous arena of high altitude mountaineering. Okay, so that's it. These are my eight adventure books that I recommend to you guys. And I hope that they can offer you a little bit of inspiration, also a little bit of a solstice from the madness of the world at the moment. I really wanna bring you guys more content during this time of self-isolation that will keep you entertained and inspired. So if there's anything that you want me to make a video about, just let me know and I will definitely try and do that. I'm going to film a little working from home video next week and I'm going to film a video about route planning as well. But in the meantime, I hope that you enjoy reading these books if you can get your hands on any of them and let me know what you think as well. Just send me a message on Instagram if you've got any of these or if, um, if you've read any of them already. Um, so yeah, thank you so much everybody. Stay safe and stay healthy physically and mentally keep getting outside even if it's just for a second and yeah we'll we'll all get through this so yeah see you guys soon